So guys, how's it? How's it? Hopefully, me say sharp. So this time I'll be doing an automation tutorial. So this one will be a bit advanced, but uh, if you're starting out, then you'll be good enough. Yeah. So first of all, let's get into this thing. So here I have this sound here. Yeah, so when you want to automate this volume for this thing, this one is here. So we're just going to right click and come here to create automation clip. So from here, you just right click again and this thing will appear on the mixer. So this is the thing that will appear as you can see is the volume that we are automating. So we'll be return that. So from here, you can play around with these things here. Yeah. You can just right click anywhere. We're playing around with the volume now. You can listen. Make sense? So what we usually do, what I, what I usually do anyways myself. I always do something like this and then this kind of shape will buy you slowly bring in whatever thing that you got there. You can hear it slowly coming through. Yeah, but that's for beginners and then we go to the next guy here, which is this plug in here. Let's do that. So we're just trying to automate anything that moves here is a knob. You can automate anything here. And then here you cannot right click here because it's a third party plugin, it doesn't come with the FL Studio. So what I usually do, just play with the knob here. And then I come here to tools, it will come here and say last week. Then from here you can just create automation clip, which it will do the same thing. And yeah, so there's plenty of ways to do this thing. I just prefer to doing it this way because I'm used to it. Now let's get, I just want to, let's do the same thing also here and play with some automations here, same thing. You can see both of these things doing the same thing. See, see there's the automation. Now the other trick is for us guys who like to produce, you can actually go beyond this here. Yeah? And then you see this, there's an envelope volume here, it's actually for the, the amplitude, that's the volume of the sound. So if I get to play around with this, let's just pause that a bit. You can see. Sustain. You can see. And then. Also. So those are actual tricks that you can use also in this thing. It's just like that for me. I can do that also and then there's this sustain usually like to automate the sustain also because it helps a lot when it comes to building up and then causing those type of tensions let's just do that there start from here maybe kind of keep it when we're going up there for a build up of so, some sort you can hear the difference when you automate a lot of things including on the on the same plugin it's just more variations you, now you start to getting ideas you get tricky you're doing some things also i can do the same thing here i think this is a delay of some sort so i can just move around this delay and then also automate the delay there so this type of things must have some timing in here so this delay wanted to be especially on that part is it cool so boom, 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 boom. a lot of delay there and then kill it off when the sustain is a bit too much because a lot of sounds will be at the same point at the same time if you don't understand me you can go to sleep it's fine so, so, let's listen to that sound let's listen to that delay you can hear the sound zin, 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 zin. so these type of things you can use them for build up to settle and all those things that's how i like to use them now another thing let me just show you a practical example now how i'd actually maneuver this type of sound So now what we are doing here is just I'm going to hold this delay and then kill it at this point. It says let's just delete this one. So on these long notes, 
I'm just going to increase the sustain there and then kill the sustain, especially on these parts that are going clink, 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 clink. Those parts will have a lot of delay. So just doing like this, yeah. So here, let's just take this, cut off, and then kill the cut off, like that. So the cut off, I'll increase it and on these long notes for it to say to have that kind of effect. Something along those lines. So now let's take the sustain. Okay, now we're taking the sustain down. Let's try again. Yes. Just like that. So this point needs that sustain a bit. Just like that there. Then you're killing that sustain once more. Let's do that. Let's try again. Okay. Okay. So let's do this again. Almost the same shape. Yes. Just. So we can do the same thing here. Just kind of head towards this point here. Go to this guy once again. So this time we're going to be automating the reverb of this guy. Let's go here to this reverb. Just going to hold this thing here. Automate it. So this reverb. I want it on this last section here. I want a lot of noise coming here. This point. Noise that would kind of like flush out the whole song. A lot of noise. I, do, I usually do this on the master channel also. But let's check if it. Let's listen to that. Guys, you see these things? You see these things? Just gonna get the effect that one. See, there's a lot of shapes now. It just means a lot of work has been done. Then, last but not least, let's not fight. We delete. Okay, no need to delete. So the last thing that I I do for kind of like a big drop, and then add this one last one here. Let's see. Let me just do this. This one, so you just want something to kind of kill those low frequencies as we go up. So just automate this guy also. So just do that. Let's do that maybe from here. So you can't hear those low frequencies being cut off. Now you get it. And now you get it. Now you get it. That's how you get that build up effect. Like. So yeah guys, I think this is it.